You say, wow. So this is why I encourage all of you to test it, to try it. I mean, there's a theoretical side, and we like to live in our head. But at some point, yeah, you know, once you buy that beer or coffee or, you know, you essentially go off the test net and start transacting what Thierry is doing, it's, it's, it's real. Anyway, that's well, my... I mean, to go back to the property thing is, um, there's a lot of uh, points of failure there. And, and, and how many times did some people were got lost because of that? How many errors in the world take so many energy to fix that? Isn't that, isn't that worth to have uh, some energy spent into making it more efficient? Right? And uh, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't even encourage you to test it that much because in my view is you either gonna do it now or you're gonna do it later. So you're better off doing it now because it's gonna come regardless. People are not gonna ask your opinion, it's gonna be there. So would you want to understand it before it actually comes into a big thing, or would you not? Right? It's, a, it's a matter of adaptation in the world, really, in this case. So I'm already convinced that we don't really need banks, so I agree on that. That's what I got from your last answer, I hope that's correct. But what do you think about regulation? Do you think there should be any, or do you think it's, done. it's just a technical problem. Oh, that's problem. a great question. <laughs> that is such a good question. I'll try to do it. I'll, I'll try to do it in one sentence okay. because, uh, in terms of regulation, I'm kind of like a libertarian. I think the free market would regulate itself. So I'm really like I don't want regulation, uh, but I know there will be some, uh, and there might be some people who will be trustworthy at some point and not at some other point, and then bounce back like that. So, so, so right now, when it comes to regulation, uh, we're, we're seeing this enormous drama uh, being played out with the SEC in the United States, it's uh, FINMA in, in Switzerland, it's in Malta, it's in Hong Kong, it's in Tokyo, it's in Seoul, and, and people are playing uh, a little bit of regulatory arbitrage. Uh, to his point, right, uh, the institutional money, the family offices, the ultra high net worths, essentially are waiting for the regulators to put their stamp of approval before that wall of money comes, and it's trillions of dollars that's going into the marketplace. They are very much looked at what the market did last year. Um, those were the first, I suppose, fools. Uh, and they pulled back and watched it, and now they're very much getting more and more active. So to your point, uh, do I believe in regulation? Short term, yes. Right? It's Not better you believe in it, but are you believe um, it should be put in place by whatever agency may be? Well, regulated, but regulated by who? Yeah, right. Who are the angels yeah. who are going to come and regulate and say, we know better than anyone and you can trust me? Right. Wouldn't it be better that everyone regulates? And I think that's where I come with the free market with. Because the free market says, if one country lets you do any, anything, including scams, right, and another country bans it all together, and then there is 50 shades in the middle, right? <laughs> Uh, well, of regulation, <laughs> and uh, sounds sexy now, huh? but but then then people are going to vote with their feet and with their wallet. Where do you think the technology will be able to grow the most? I think it's in this case, but there's going to be a lot of bad stuff coming with it, right? But I'm in Switzerland, right? Because I always say I vote with my feet, meaning where I go, and I vote with my wallet, meaning where I put my money, right? But I think people just do that all the time, right? Uh, and now it's, it's, it's a free world. So if you if you were in, in the US and they put too many burdens, they might be more safe, but they might not achieve much. If you don't put any regulations or you put regulations that encourage it to the minimum standard of, come on, if it's an obvious fraud, then don't do it, which is what I believe is Switzerland is doing it, and there's also competition in Eastern Standard so then and then they will know, and guess who's going to get the jobs? Guess who's going to get the Silicon Valley uh, growth? Uh, you know, we have now Crypto Valley in, in Zoo. Uh, you know, the, the, it, the free market will choose, right? And then when it comes to consensus, is it's going to be, I, I think it's a great thing that it's now going to be your responsibility and not some angel responsibility. Take more responsibility on your side. Don't let, uh, uh, don't, don't, don't necessarily try to look for these angels.
for which you're going to transfer your responsibility because they know better. Because sometimes when you transfer your power, the power is being abused against you. So it, I guess you're going to have to think a different way or force yourself to think a different way or find a person that actually knows better and trust them. But then, you know, you're giving some trust. And then... I just, I just have to add to this question because it's so good. Uh, okay, so basically when you look at uh, blockchain smart contracts, so that's a, that's a way of uh, trustless regulation on, on its own. So um, here's the thing, in a way we've transcended a lot of the regulation that's needed because we have now consensus and consensus is like the set of rules that we believe, like we as users, we as a community of, of people, like we as the world, as a society believe that should be right. Uh, so, in a sense, uh, I think that the, the power is that the blockchain will enable a, an alternative. So, for example, uh, there is a lot of regulation which enables corruption and injustice in the world, especially, you know, when you go to the developing nations. And um, you can just, uh, if you don't have a, a decentralized system that's freely available, that's accessible, that's everywhere, then you don't have a choice. It's end of history for your idea. It's, that's it. It's just going to be the way the government says it's going to be. But now you have an alternative, and this is this is the the power of, of uh, the blockchain. The power of the blockchain is the fact that you can create an alternative to something, and nobody can stop you. 